Good afternoon, gamers. <laughs> Here we are, back again, back at Abbey Rock. We, uh... Well, we have no recent news. I'm going to compile a port report. Nothing is different. Everything is the same. So, we're going to, uh... Well, I can have one last speak with her. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. It doesn't say how many wounds I have, but I guess I'll do it. Okay, I have one wound. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Still pain, the best teacher, eh? Oh, don't look at me like that. 45 as a baseline. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I don't know what happens, so I think that may be the, the last. So, uh, we don't really have the opportunity to talk with her beforehand, so it's, uh, time to say farewell. We've had many adventures, mostly drinking coffee gelato together. Appropriate texts. What kind of beast can be conjured with these racy volumes? Perfect. There must be music, too, and fire, and a promise. We can take care of those. We begin at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Sevens are important. In the abbey courtyard, the sisters are heaping up driftwood for a fire. The adventurous claps a hand on your shoulder. That gives me, what, twelve hours? Come on, let's go back to the ship. I don't want to spend my last twelve hours in this hole. She is flushed, eyes bright, mouth tight. Huh. I re okay. I, I remember reading this one, so it's, uh, this one, so you, if, if you have the, the campaigner with you, who's one of the officers we haven't yet found, um, and you, and you suggest, uh, sleeping together, the, the campaigner comes in, and, and the adventuress is like, no, actually, uh, I have someone better. <laughs> And so they go. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure. I think... Last Chance to Preserve the Stories. Memoirs about her homeland. Which would she prefer to do? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll go with this one. The presbyter extends deep into the elder continent. Outsiders are not often permitted within his borders. What will she share? Each presbyter is different, but each takes the identity of the last. Presbyters never truly die, even after a thousand years. At their deaths, they give up their names to join the college, who live nameless. The rebels who serve the thief of faces, they live faceless. I'm no friend to the college, you know that, but they have served our realm well. They're just... <sighs> it's true, we eat the flesh of the beasts we hunt, as do you, but we will kill nothing that flies. The story is that they carry the airs of the garden that permit us to live forever. But I think it's sentiment. I think the mountain dreams of flight. Oh. She speaks casually, but now and then a tear crosses the sharp planes of her face to fall unnoticed into the dark. Huh. Well, that's uh, that. 
as always, like, the story stuff is interesting. Then it's like, oh, Memory of Distant Shores, the thing that I already had 11 of. I I wonder if I should reload just to see what else she can choose to say. Um, actually, yeah, why not? I mean, if, like, regardless of uh, what we get out of it, the, the important thing is getting, new, getting to see the, the content. So... Worst comes worst, I can always go back to this one. She's crossed the Untersee a dozen times, and many of her crewmates are dead. This is the last chance to preserve those stories. A ship of lights, beautiful as a palace, until we heard the screams across the water. The heptakir rose like a moon, fingers flexing, huge as rowboats. Oh, God. The rats sing the hymns of their ancestors until they sank one by one. When the way to the ragged crow opened and we went up the stairs together to the light, the days before the dawn machine, when the passage was calm and dark, your pen flies across the page. She talks endlessly, emotionlessly, staring into the dark. She doesn't look at you once. Okay. It's quite a life she's lived. I don't want you to see me die. What? Yeah, let's. I guess. Yeah. Fires lit. The smoke of printed love stories rises into the dark. The sisters chant in a language older than London. They play a wistful, halting music on harps and lyres. The adventuress has had her uniform ironed. Even her buttons are polished. Her knife is ready in her left hand and her pistol in her right. Far above, in the deep night of the Neath, something briefly occludes the light of the false stars. Go back to the ship, she says abruptly. I don't want you to see me die. Please. Um, we're not going to do that. Because... We should insist. Someone should bear witness, or perhaps someone is just curious or doesn't quite trust her even now. Oh, God. No, I think it's the witness thing. You know, you want the legend to echo out into the cosmos forever. The light of the fire turns ice blue, roars to greater brightness. The adventuress turns her back on you. She readies her knife and her pistol. I once swore, she remarks, to kill nothing that flies. I hope I break that oath. They will be her last words. A piece of star-specked night falls shrieking from the roof. The bonfire is quenched in an instant, but a gout of flame from the pistol punctures the dark. Once again, the night is screaming now, deep rending cries that are almost words. The scent of ice and ozone is overpowering. You reach out a hand, blindly. The darkness deepens, but a sister takes hold of your hand uh, of your shoulder. Stay away, she hisses. The adventuress cries out. So does the night. This last shriek squeezes your skull and rakes your brain and tears the words from your throat. It cracks the cobblestones of the abbey yard. In the flames of a final shot, you glimpse a crested wave of night rearing above the adventuress. Its wings are the sky. Its horns and veins blaze with scars. It strikes, it convulses, it whirls, and it's gone. Your eyes are hazed with frost, but as it rises, you are quite certain it lurches to the side as if one of its wings had suffered a blow. On the cracked cobbles at your feet lies the adventuress, dead eyes staring. Beside her lies her pistol, silver chased, drenched in black blood. As you watch, the blood wisps in choking vapor from the metal, leaving it stained dark as the Z. Who? I guess that's the, the pistol. Yeah, it is something. But it's worse if you choose not to watch, if you just like hide out on your boat like a coward, you just hear her suffering. 
and you never know what happened. But that is, uh, that is the end of her story. And now we only have one remaining gunnery officer. So, I mean, you know, you can argue that it's not a good idea to do it because you lose uh, flexibility because the only other gunnery officer is uh, just pure iron. I don't know if there are other ones beside those two. I've only, uh, I've only really had those two for most of my uh, plays. Um, I can't remember if the two that I haven't seen, the camp the campaigner and uh, the modiste. I can't remember if either those are gunnery officers or if there are other further people. But yeah. It's it's melancholy, but it's what she wanted. I personally would have rather uh, lived as long as I could, I suppose. Even if it does mean assassins in the end. Okay. So I've saved. I'm going to manually save again because I'm incapable of calming myself. And we're going to head off to the next place. 68. Okay. So let's see, according to my notes, Vendor Bite, Skull. I can. I may. Because I have other stuff I need to do in the north. I think I may leave it. Because furthermore, I can go there with the 12 supplies, and I can pick up those tomb colonist tourists. And basically, reenact a mummified version of uh, the Muppets Treasure Island, where uh, en route to the the Treasure Island, um, it becomes like a cruise ship. So I'm just imagining that, but everyone's a mummy. Uh oh. We'll see. Oh, nice. But a terror clings. Now I'm only down to two. <laughs> the Milk Bright Sea. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna hit Hunter's Keep next. I don't remember if we went there on our way out. I suppose I could look. I'll have a port report if we went. The only problem is they're not in. I I. I do not understand any particular order. I don't know if it's like first in, first out, or what. Well, no, it's not, because, like, this was ages ago. Yeah, I do not understand the organizational method, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So Irigo, because Irigo light is in the skull, so we'll be able to get rid of this one next time we go north. We've seen Violent Ink in one of these places as, as a place you can sell it, but I don't know how to get it. Cosmogone, I'm not sure. I don't know what uh, does that. And then Apasion... Episcion, we will get from uh, completing our little adventure with the principles of coral. So we'll at least be able to do one. I don't. I straight up don't know where we're gonna do Cosmogone. Um, it's like I don't know if you can get it in Irem because that's close to Dream, and I think that's a Dream color. 
Um, it talks about fungal, so maybe the utter shroom. I don't know. Port Carnelian. And then this, I have no idea. I've never completed the rainbow. I don't know if I've said that. give that to so I have two yeah our little dickhead doctor has uh, not done anything untoward I wonder I doubt it but do you think there's a suggestion that if if he's in a slot he won't go around stealing stuff I don't know it's been a while since I lost a, an intelligence item, but then it's been a while since I had one. And now I had like three strategic information, two vital intelligences. Uh, let's see. So I got that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she wants. Yeah, we got to take her to uh, Port Carnelian, which is fine because uh... oh shoot, I just real sorry. I just realized if we head into London uh, with this, it might be censored, and then it might not be useful for Port Carnelian. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. We'll see. Okay. Alright, so that's all that. Uh, manual save. Okay. Next is Low Barnett. This should be fine. I'll, I'll have enough fuel to get from here to fall in London or else something very bad has happened. Okay. So we've already talked to the fierce philanthropist's husband. Story contest three. this, maybe. Yeah, here we go. So I have three. I could do this one. I could do this one. And I don't think I know where these places are yet. There's still so much to explore. Your story is a bold one, that every mark ever made on Z-faring skin appears, unexplained, on the walls of the Ivory City. You move among the listeners, gesturing to their tattoos. The Wheel of Mists, they'd find that etched above an aquifer. The Gambit, scratched into a nameless catacomb. And the Unflinching Eye, well, that is only found at the city's heart. But your listeners will have to visit and see, <laughs> see for themselves. Nice. You talk of the gut maws which inhabit every zailer and provide their nautical instincts, that taste in the throat which heralds a storm front, the ability to digest food even on choppy seas, the welcome fluttering in the stomach at the sight of a sweetheart on shore, moths in the gut growing all the time. Your listeners shift in their seats, one hurries out, clutching his mouth. Nice. And then, uh... This. If nothing else, you can warn them not to visit. You describe a city built from shipwrecks, a colossal tipsy tower lashed together by sentient weed. The weed commands the city's inhabitants to wreck more and build higher. 
This tower has already broken the surface and is extending towards the cavern roof. Only last week, it caught its first dirigible. <laughs> nice. If I had one more, I think we'd be able to get to the next stage. Uh, the, the... What is it? So, like... The, the contests. Yeah, I need... Yeah. As far as I know, we, I may... Like, if... I, I don't know if it has to be all new... Or if I can come back with the same ones, like Wreck and all that, and, and they still count, but I don't know. Okay. And yeah, there's just nothing. Like, these these are valuable. Like, Memory of Distant Shores are maybe the least valuable. But still, nevertheless, like, money is easier to come by. And also, don't they sell... Memory of Distant Shores, I think they sell for 12 Echoes to the... Uh, Our friend whose teeth chatters. They keep clashing their teeth. Part of the university. The academic. Why is someone peeing? I hate that sound. Oh, wrong direction. Of course there's a current blocking the way into London. This is where we see what happens. Yeah, okay. So we hand it over. Okay. Okay, and no one inspected our uh, stuff, which is important. And hey, that's nice. The Alarming Scholar, that's... yeah. How many do we have? We have five. So two more and we can give that to the Venturer. Yeah. Okay. I think it's safe to save an overhead... Oh, wait. I forgot to see if uh, in... in Rack... Well, I didn't forget, I just... Yeah. Okay, so I'm saved, right? Manual save after stupidity. Okay. Okay, so just a very quick journey over to Rack. Oh god, it's so far away. Obviously, I don't intend to save. See, you go fast, you don't have time to build up terror. Mm. 
We're directly over rack. Which means I'm going in the wrong direction, aren't I? Here we go. I hate the sound of that leaking. It is so annoying. Okay, good. So you can you can keep getting it every time so long as you have something awaits you. That's good. Alright. So so that means I can try Dahut again. I would have to get that song, maybe get another of the, the Molly Coddlers. I can't remember the name. Molly Fish. Okay, so that's good to know. Alright, so I'm going to stop here for a second. Just so that I can get something done. And then we will go through all of this. Alright. BRB. Hello, I am back. As per usual when I say that I'm going away for but a few moments, events conspire and now it's like four hours later. <laughs> so, uh, here I be. I recall vaguely what I wanted to do. Um, the next thing I want to do is here, uh, the Forgotten Quarter with the Magician. Um, of course, port reports all that stuff beforehand. Um, yeah, I might go... Uh, yeah, my next thing is going to go to Grand Geode and try and get the Element of Dawn. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do it <laughs> without suffering uh, at the hands of our little Judas. Alright, so, uh, we are here, we are alive, we exist even. Got this. That's a, that's a shame. Wait, how am I up at 72? Shouldn't it go down to 50? Oh no. <laughs> oh god. That's not good. It must be because I, was I not away long enough for, uh, for something to change? I don't know, maybe. Oh boy. Alright. So, uh, let's see. Strategic information. I don't know what else it can be used for. There's ways to get it, of course. But yeah, mm -hmm. actually, yeah, okay, so I'll hold on to this. Yeah, I'll hold on to it for now. I'll hold on to this one as well, but I, hopefully I'll be able to get one to him after returning from Grand Geode. Okay. So we're going to just hop through these. Uh, sure. Cecil, Godfall, Nuncio, Abbey Rock. Slowly getting through. Last one. Okay. I love that we get 60 bucks even though they don't believe that we went there. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to keep that for now. Manual save. We can save on overhead. Oh. Oh yeah, but we know that uh, we can get 
the song back. <sighs> okay, so at Grand Geode, we will need uh, I believe seven crew. Yeah. We need a butler of supplies, seven crew, one vital intelligence. So, uh, well actually before we do that, let's do uh, the Forgotten Quarter. Uh, no. No one visits the Forgotten Quarter of Fallen London anymore. No one remembers why, except archaeologists, treasure hunters, and magicians who've lost their hands to imaginary serpents. The world is thin here, the magician once told you. It's closer to the place behind mirrors, to Parabola. Alright, open the way to the Forgotten Quarter. My revenge waits for me there. I'll need honey to navigate the dreams. Can you, uh, lend me a barrel of the stuff? And help me with the dreaming? I will show my gratitude when the time comes. Sure. One frickin' of honey, that's nothing. Okay, so. Here's the thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to optimize for mirrors. Mirror six, mirror six, so that doesn't matter. That's mirrors minus two, that's definitely no good. Mirrors, mirrors, okay, so genome magician mirrors. Okay. And then, oh, mirrors plus two. Okay, so now we are optimized for mirrors. Okay, onwards to victory. Hey, nice. I didn't even have to save scum. A road of roses. Prisoner's honey transports the dreamer's body as well as mind. That's the red version as opposed to the normal, like, yellow version. Um, I believe. No, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm uh, incorrect. Yeah, so it is just normal prisoner's honey. That's just the typical stuff that you get. I thought that it didn't take you physically. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, anyway. Prisoner's honey, the normal kind of honey, transports the dreamer's body as well as mind. You walk beside the magician along a path lined with washful black roses. The rosers built this way, he says. Another of Parabola's servant peoples it pleases me to use it against the kings of that place. Look, the light up ahead. When we wake, we'll know the way to the quarter. Okay. Oh, interesting. What? Who? Take it. One secret is yours, isn't it? Okay, don't purchase it unless you're sure you want it. Oh, so it takes one of all your stats and a secret. Wait, what? He's not become my boy, Viceroy. Weird. Anyway, the genial magician's plan. What is it exactly? Prison for servants. My enemy, he explains, roams the mirror marches at the edge of Parabola. He taps the wooden statue. I have bathed this image with the sense of life. My enemy will enter and be ensnared, and then we can put its power to use, you and I. He frowns. There is a possibility it will enter me instead. Quite a real possibility. Should that occur, I trust you will murder my stolen body and fling it in the sea. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Where I go, I go alone, but I must ask your help. I know you have already been a good friend to me, but this will be the last thing I ever ask of you. Perhaps not quite the last thing. If something else comes back wearing my body, you will see me drowned, yes? Please. So I'm going to just manually save right there. Thank goodness I have Sitilac. It's always good to have a little of everything. It's just rough when you're trying to make a lot of money and then like over half of your hold is already filled with knickknacks. 
Okay, so I saved. I don't need to do that because I already have an eyeless skull. I wonder if when I took it, it removed stats from me and I didn't notice. I don't know. A smiling return. He is gone, as he told you, for 11 hours exactly. You wait in the old caravan uh, caravanserai at the quarter's edge. Caravanserai? Caravan and also a, a seri? I don't know. At the quarter's edge. Blue lights flicker in the mist. An unlikely wind stirs your hair. And here he is, emerging from the mist, marching with a spring in his step. He is humming an air you haven't heard before, something from the music halls, perhaps. He grins and pumps your hand. Thank you for delivering my enemy into my hands. I have a new kind of freedom now. I think I would like to go to Z. Again, I mean, uh, to return to Z. What happened with the serpent image? He waves the question away. I found something much better. Ooh. <laughs> we don't have the genial magician anymore. But that's because he is now urbane. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, did he lose? Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I didn't expect this. I'm concerned, I'm concerned, I'm scared. That's not good. I mean... Good lord. I'm absolutely reloading. Ah, oh, boy. You don't even get much out of murdering him. Or, like, any confirmation that it was a, a serpent. Uh, so we know... So it looks like Urbane is bad. Urbane is... Yeah... Yeah, it seems like it. It looks like it. Unfortunately, yeah. That's a rare, that's a rare, I mean, I don't know if failure is the right term, but uh, it's true that he, I wouldn't want him on board. Um, yeah. We would much prefer the other one not only for that purpose but because when you know like when he waves away the <laughs> the thing uh when he he's like oh i found something better besides the the horse head it's like oh okay that's a sign that's how you know uh man okay so hopefully he'll succeed this time Oh, sorry, I, I don't think I finished my thought. The Part of the reason is because uh, the snake version, the, the, the snake piloting his body, um, doesn't know how to build the engine that is the entire reason for having the magician. 
All right. Okay, he's gone, as he told you, for 11 hours exactly. You wait in the old caravanserai at the quarter's edge. Blue lights flicker in the mist. An unlikely wind stirs your hair, and here he is. He staggers out of the mist. Blood trickles from his eyes, but he's smiling. An exhausted, desperate smile. He clasps your hand and leans on your shoulder all the way back. Okay. <laughs> and there's no option to kill him for being a, a finger king piloting his body. The magician will not speak of precisely what happened there in the Forgotten Quarter, but he proposes a toast to the ensnarement of serpents. Beautiful. The magician is slower to smile than he was, but the smile, you think, is more sincere. He has no plans to leave the sea or your service. I owe this victory to you, he says. He looks down at the serpent image where it sits in his lap. Its wooden eyes seem to brim with furious desperation. And this will permit some partial repayment of my great debt to you. Speak to me later. Okay. Oh, nice. Lost ten terror. Yeah, so there's nothing else we can do here, at least at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. First I want to see his uh, stats. Okay, so plus six, plus five, plus one for hearts. Uh, yeah, six, five, one. The urbane... Uh, the Urbane Magician version has minus two hearts, plus eight veils, plus five mirrors, plus three pages. So uh, it's, you know, pretty good. It, it gives you, like, far more of a spread. Because this is just, what, plus 12? Um, and he is, of course, plus 16. Um, well, with a net gain of 14 because of uh, the minus two hearts um, so like you get better stats perhaps but uh, he's the urbane magician uh, something silver looks out through his eyes and uh, you don't get to make the serpentine which is a, a pretty good uh, engine it's a pretty good engine yeah it's not shabby as engines go like it's a very yeah it's a very good engine and uh, we don't have what it takes to make the best engine yet. So it's a good in-betweener. I will set my enemy at the heart of an engine. I will make of him a beast of burden. But I'm going to need a dry dock and some money. Okay, 1200 Well, I can definitely afford that. Uh, yeah, this is, this is not what he meant. Okay. Ooh, uh, well, if I do this now, I won't be able to do Grand Geode, because I need to spend a thousand, uh, for the, for the supplies alone, so I may, I may hold off, I, well, we can go look at it. I need to hold on to that. I keep wanting to give it to him, but... And I want to hold on to this because he may steal one, and then I'll at least I'll have another one uh, on my way down. But okay, so we are here. I'm guessing it will show... Uh, yeah, here we go. The magician will supervise the work himself uh, at night. <laughs> 1800 power, hearts and veils plus 5. So that's 1800 power. So that's 300 more, plus it has stat bonuses. Uh, so it's not shabby. And as we've seen, it's uh, it sells for 500. So you definitely don't get your money's worth when you sell it but you know it's a better it's a better engine 
it's an it's a fair engine. The only problem is the money. I don't have enough to do this and Grand Geode, I don't think. Not unless... I guess... Hmm, let's see. Okay. I have two, right? Right. Okay. Enthusiastic nods. I'm glad you brought this to me rather than you know who. Our mutual acquaintance, two streets over. We do what we can. Yeah. So we got 350. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just a thousand echoes to give up the memento mori. It's a it's a bit of a shame, but uh, you know, like presumably you'll be using it yourself, so you can always use it for yourself. It's far more useful than uh, the other weapon that you can make, uh, which which is relatively expensive to make early game and can only be used and, and only has doomed monster hunters as ammo. So, uh, okay, so I have 2300 and I need how much in the way of uh, supplies? I need 50 supplies. Not counting, not counting the amount uh, to get there and back. Okay. So. That's that. I'm starting to think we can do both. Um, I may have to sell some stuff, perhaps at a loss, but uh, this could be doable. If I do that, the only yeah, the only thing is, uh, I need I need to be able to lose seven crew members. Isn't there a way? I don't... I've never found... I thought there was a way to get... Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah, here it is. All right. Oh, wait, a new recruit? Nope. Not a new recruit. A lie. Thirty echoes. How much does it cost to make the engine again? Okay, twelve hundred. Well, okay, so let's do it. The magician will supervise the work himself uh, at night. Okay. The serpent's prison. I have set him within a cage of fire. He can look all he likes. He can rage all he wants. His hungers will drive us across the sea. My god. It's great. There's some metal stuff in here. Okay. So there's that. So we now have a far better engine. Well, somewhat better anyway. Oh, I forgot the fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency plus 10. That's not shabby at all. I love fuel efficiency. It's, it's my favorite thing in the world. The only thing is requiring less fuel, like period. So now that's a plus five. Plus five, plus ten. So that's fifteen percent fuel efficiency. 
I know that uh, your stats help with fuel efficiency a little, I think. I, uh, perhaps veils because of speed? I'm not sure. I thought so. But anyway, um, I, I could be wrong, I could be correct, I don't know. But in any case, yeah. Oh, I didn't... Should I have sold that somewhere? I don't remember. So I can sell the meter salt. I don't know what else it can be used for. <sighs> okay, so... I think I can hold on to this stuff for now. I have no money. Um, I can uh, corral, uh, not corrals, uh, hire on more crew. Okay, 20. 20 minus 7 is 13. That's less than half. I, uh... I don't know how the rules work for, uh... Crew. I don't know at what point, uh, is the tipping point. But, uh, yeah, if your crew is below half of the total crew capacity rounded. It doesn't say rounded which way. But, uh... 20 minus 7 is 13. 13 times 2 is 26. So... I need more crew. I need at least one more crew. Because 21 minus 7 is 14. 14 times 2 is 26. Wait, what, what's happening? 21 minus 7 is 24. No? What's wrong with my brain? My brain is doing something wrong. If I get another crew member manually, that's 21. 21 people. 21 minus 7 is 20 minus 6, which is 14. 14 times 2 is 28. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be okay. So I would have exactly enough. Okay. I could maybe do like one more. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. I can only do one more. Okay, well, there you go. So, I feel a little nervous. But our scheme is to go south. Um, is there anything that I can purchase and make a little money with along the way? Um, can go to the Combined Canal, Iron Republic, Grand Geode, and then Port Carnelian. Make my way up that way. Go the opposite way. I don't know. I want to get. I want to offload the excess as soon as I can because I'm afraid of something bad going, uh, something bad happening. So I think I'm going to go south. We're just going to go immediately south to Grand Geo, and then I'll see how I feel. For all I know, I might just immediately go back up. But let's see, Port Carnelian. If I go to Port Carnelian, mushroom wine and uh, romantic literature, not that it matters. Both sell okay. I 
I don't think Grand Geode is on my list of stores. Yeah, no. Um, so yeah. Onwards to victory, I think. The only other thing I can think of is going to Rack, because we sent some people from Khan's Heart over. So, so yeah, so we'll just go straight south. Alright, so I've, I've saved. I'm going to save again because I'm nervous. I'm worried that I've forgotten something, but I don't think I have. It doesn't feel noticeably different, and maybe because we have a lot of cargo on, and a lot of people. Who knows not I. Terror. Right. That's one of the things that I always forget is that it's actually better to stay out away from uh, the coast if you're going down to the Kumayan Canal because you just have to come back out again. Uh, don't feed the crew. That's illegal. Oh, I'm gonna be so bummed if five wasn't enough. Ooh, five might not be enough, actually. Ooh, well, we'll see. I'm tempted. Just barely missed a bonk. Alright. So, first step. Wait, what? The banished rap Zaylor is trying to gain passage to the surface. He must stop desiring it. The trip would kill him. Well, you gotta try and help him. Oh no, I gained more crew. They're gonna another mouth to field feed. You offer the Zaylor passage upward and direct him to the Clatery Heir's surgery. When he sees the operating table, he knows he's been tricked, but there's no fight in him. The Clatery Heir extracts something from the Zaylor. It gleams with its own light. The Zaylor curses you for saving his life. Now there's nothing but zailing in the dark, he says, and I'll likely drown instead of burn. But for now, you better have me on your crew, since you're the reason I still need a job and rations. Oh, that's... that's rough. That... that makes me feel bad. I've never been up there. Uh, uh, certainly not in this playthrough. I've been up there before, but I had so little an amount of stuff. Uh, I died pretty quick, and uh, honestly, I don't remember what it was like. I'm afraid to say. Yeah, so you can buy stuff. Not that we can afford it. Okay. Probably should have saved. Oh, well. The faster you go, the less chance there is to build up terror.
I like Kugel's Bluff because I, I, I don't know for a fact, but I immediately think of it as a reference to Jack Vance's character, uh, who who was like a a trickster, like horrible. Uh, you know, uh, what's the name of uh, that style of story? It's usually uh, it's just a stringing together of separate adventures of the person like going on a journey. Usually, oh, not a parambicular uh, genre story um, adventures starts with a P. Uh, see Charles Dickens's. Pickwick is a is an example. <laughs> what genre is the Pickwick Papers? Social criticism. I don't think that's a uh, what's it? Pekka uh, but like a sequence of loosely related adventures. lose my mind because I can't think of it and it doesn't even matter compared to what I'm doing picaresque a picaresque god that was hard <laughs> but it's a it's it's a part of his dying earth Jack Vance's dying earth series and the there's like the, the first book I don't think has him and then the second one and I believe the third one uh, have him as the main character and it's just him going through a series of misadvent uh, misadventures um, just like tricking people, murdering people if I recall it, he's, he's basically just like one of the, well he's one of the inspirations for D&D, &D. he's sort of, sort of like you know the thief, sort of like trickster character that uh screws people over but you follow him along because he's getting into weird interesting adventures and you sort of want to just see what he's going to do next you know okay the Calvary Doctrine is House of Milks I don't know What else there is? The Calvary Doctrine. God. The Iron Republic has no government, no representatives, but it has plenty of citizens eager to purchase an engine of destruction. That's a fair amount of stuff, but then you give hell supremacy. Crucified dragons and laws in waiting? The whistle of welcome. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Why did it say the Gesundheit experience? Uh, I get, oh, maybe that's, it's telling you that's going to be what's here next. Gesundheit conspiracy. I don't know. Anyway. So it's like the only place where you can sell supplies for like a profit. It's good if you can afford the coffee beans, because you could take these right back up to London for a profit. But, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, it's just I can't afford to do much. So, that's about that. Alright, so I will do a manual save after stupidity. I wonder if I've overreacted, overreacted a bit about the determined doctor stealing my stuff, but he has done it at least twice. And and the thing is, those intelligence items, like moves in the great game and so on, they're actually important and useful, so it just always genuinely bothered me that uh, he could just, you know, take it from me. Oh, dear. I don't know 
what else I can really do about that. Oh shoot, what direction am I going? Ah, uh, this isn't... I should have gotten more. I needed to sell... yeah. If I can't... if I can't buy supplies at Grand Geo, we're gonna have a problem. Because I'm about to have just... Uh, I'm about to have one, uh, none. Actually. So I may have to reload back to... We'll see. Yeah, no. Dang. That is unfortunate. Wow, they, that's really expensive. Good lord. Okay. Well, so this is what I want to do, but uh, I think we're doomed. But we're. I can't uh, I can't proceed because see that hunger the second it hits that that's gonna go down one so we basically have no supplies so I'm gonna uh, I have I mean I have to I have to reload there's no way there there are like those increasing sacrifice ways I guess but dang all right, load game, overhill. God, it's a shame. I love how there's a note that says, "Hey, it's not slavery." <laughs> You're there. <laughs> oh, we know we put them in cargo, but they're not cargo. They're the money that you get is them paying you for passage. We promise it's not slavery. Okay. So I'm going to sell one. Oh god, did, is this before I did the serpentine? How far back was this? Oh no. Well. Yeah. Man. Okay, so we're going to do it. We have the serpentine. We have it. We're putting it in. We're going to change our officer to the fuel efficient one okay we're still gonna do everything I'm just a little bummed because it is a fair amount of stuff uh, so we're gonna just we're just gonna sell some stuff here and there Okay. So we're going to hopefully have enough money to have more supplies. So we know that five is definitely not sufficient. Five gets us there. We need another five back. Uh, minimum. So uh, that's, uh, that's good to know. It's annoying, but it's good to know. Uh, I shouldn't purchase anything else except for that. That's a lot of supplies. Oh shit, wait, how much was it? 
50. Okay, I'm not insane. So. We have 11. Hopefully, we're going to be okay. Hopefully. Oh, right, and we can sell this old engine. I, don't, I, told, I think I forgot to do that. Okay. So that's that. This, yeah, 2,500. So, like, it, you know, there are engines with more power, but fuel efficiency is so important. You know? So it's like, sure, it can go faster, but it guzzles like a monster. Okay, so now... Now I think we're a little better off. Hopefully. And we have money so we can actually purchase things, which is nice. Just sort of weird because it's it doesn't quite say like it has a range. Twenty seven to thirty seven. 32. I don't, I mean, that's, that is what's attached, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so, so there's that. I don't remember where to sell that. I think I should have sold that elsewhere. Oh, I forgot to. You can, yeah, you can only sell it at the Chelinate. <sighs> well. Oh, okay, so we did get this, so we can take that to Port Cecil. That's good to know. Actually, I want to see if we can see uh, Supremacy. I don't know where it would be. Here we go. Yeah, still recovering, even with the vital information we gave them. Hideaway. Still don't know where Hideaway is, I don't think. Unless, like, not all these, not all the islands are here in this list in the journal. Okay. Oh, no, I haven't. It's just, there's an annoying dude presumably still on our boat. <laughs> Who's, uh... Yeah. I have no idea where it is. Just straight up none. Okay, so, just looking around, couldn't find the prisoner, okay, so anyway, <sighs> let's try that again, shall we? Oh wait, no, I need, uh, I need more crew, I totally forgot. Okay, 22 minus 7 is 20 minus 5 is 15. 15 times 2, 30. I will be able to pilot my ship. And uh, thank goodness. Okay, so. I don't know if there's anything else. So you get more giving her the stuff, but the, the problem is, um, guess... 
who they work for. That's right, the Dawn Machine. I didn't. I forgot that. Uh, yeah. Oh God. So you have to sacrifice the alarming scholar in order to get the the law of dawn in order to make your island uh, immune. I forget what you need for uh, up in Irem to to get their version of protecting, but uh, yeah. Okay. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. I want to keep this. I've already given him that. Okay. Manual save. Astro stupidity. how I read online it's like oh your engine never explodes basically and then the first time I tried to do it it's like second hit the the engine exploded <laughs> goodness gracious obliterated Since we stopped here, maybe we stop at Quaker's Haven. Okay. Oh no. Bright eyed men and women from the Admiralty work hastily to expand the dock. Hymns with unfamiliar words ring out of the fall of their hands. Oh no, it's been taken over by the dawn machine. As you attempt to lower your plank, a fervent officer escorted by a modest squadron of well-armed sailors raises his hand and calls out to you. Ahoy, Captain, this isle is now under the jurisdiction of Her Majesty's Admiralty. Depart immediately. His men raise their weapons. Best be off, then. <sighs> well, this place was never useful to me, and now it's, uh, even more useless. I don't know if this is better than uh, cannibal, like cannibal madness, which is what happened last time that we checked in before re reloading. I love having a lot of fuel so much. It's so important to me. My favorite idea is just having like the most powerful, like most powerful weapon, most powerful engine, and then just half of your, half of your hold is just fuel and another quarter is, uh... Hey, nice. Fortunate. Another quarter is supplies, and then you can just go wherever you please. Just fill out your map. Just get comfy. Alright, so... So we're saving. Okay, so we succeeded again, thank goodness. We've gained one more crew. Get a vision of the surface. We get a port report. We manual save. And 
and off we go further down. Once you have the avid suppressor. Maybe that's what I'll get next time. Of course. I think we turn slower because we have so much aboard. I don't know. All right. I love that. It's just like this. This is a bad idea. Don't do it. It's currently open. Yeah, this is just the basic one. that uh. sure why not manual save all right down to the dawn machine Please don't harass me. I'm just a little silhouette of a man. Ah, Scaramouche. <laughs> I don't know. The one interesting thing is that, like, I want to know the stories behind some of these spaces. And partially, that's a little bit why I've gotten back into Fallen London after years of staying away, because I hate wasting my my time and energy and stuff that uh, is pure chance but but I hear now they've added a lot of content about going out on expeditions so like maybe uh, maybe one of the expeditions you go south and you find out what the deal is with Castle Clare okay so here we are after stupidity. I look like I'm so ready for adventure, but I'm about to lose most of it. Okay, so I've got a port report. I do like how when you give it to, to the Admiral, he's just like, oh, well, of course we know what's going on over there. Now, how about I take very close notes <laughs> while looking, like, very afraid? <laughs> And perhaps a little sickened. Okay. First has an element of dawn from the Commodore. The Commodore welcomes you, smiling, to his immaculate office. Crystals glitter on the walls. Of course, he says. Glad to help. But we'll need to cover expenses for an element. The light only produces so many, you know. Expenses? No, no, your seven youths and maidens, ah ha ha ha. I mean, your seven crew are not expenses. They will live rich, satisf satisfied, glorious lives. How long will those lives be, though? I will ensure it personally. And thank you for the information. We will make very, very good use of it. So, we've done that. 
We've given supremacy to the Dawn Machine. I do like that. Sun, on the sun, the sun, the sun, the. Th okay. So there's not much else. Can do this, I guess. Are there any officers that I can use that waiting time and port thing about? Uh oh. I'm worried about him. I feel like if I eat with him, he'll start stealing my stuff again. And I still have the strategic information that I need. So I'm going to try and... I'm just going to try and leave him alone. I'm just going to try and leave him alone. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Can you spend this? Oh, shit! That's so much terror. I don't like that. I don't know that an extraordinary implication is worth that. 15 times 230. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll allow it. I'm tempted to reload, but as long as I can do full speed. Okay. Into the dark of the Untersee. My God! Didn't expect to see one of those here. I don't know if it causes a lot of harm, but I'm rapidly running out of space. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh! Someone on the Tree of Ages! Oh my god. That's awful. I don't think I would need this right now anyway. I, I think the, tr the Tree of Ages still exists. So I don't... Uh, I don't need to worry. Like, I wouldn't... If you defeat it, that's how you would resummon it. Sort of like how in Minecraft you use a gas tier or whatever to revitalize the Ender Dragon. Okay. So. Manual save. After stupidity. Okay. Ambition. An additional sherry with the fierce philanthropist. This time, the sherry is accompanied by a fruit loaf, slathered with butter. When you raise the matter of your search for immortality and the involvement of Lytton, the man who shares her name, she grows thoughtful. Okay. Oh, God. I have nothing of what I need to invite her. That's rough. She listens quietly as you tell her of the crumbling sealed church of Low Barnet of her husband's lowly status and humble duties, of the slow infestation of coral crawling over his limbs, his torso, his cheek. She stands abruptly. Excuse me, Captain, she says, and leaves the room. A while later, a servant arrives to escort you out. The mistress hopes you will forgive her and will be happy to receive you on another evening, Captain. But for now, she is indisposed. It's rough, but you'd, you'd want to know. Okay. 
So I need to write this sucker down. I've done that, 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 that. Okay, to do. I need five parabola linen and five zoops to port carnelian recruit fierce fill lanth okay I mean, I almost have enough. I have one more that I would require, and then the zoops, I would have to go up to Mount Palmerston. Okay. Uh, poor Carnelian. There's a lady at Murgatroyd's who dresses in tiger pelts and shows her teeth to customers. Oh. I mean, this is a world where potentially she could be helped to become the tiger that she might be. You just gotta transverse the great chain of being, illegally. Oh, maybe, oh, okay, I was about to say, like, I did that already. Oh, what did they want again? The governor relies on a cadre of docile... No okay. Thank goodness I still had one. Alright. Miss Jenny's diary. The tiger is pleased. He asks you to read from one of the more explicit volumes. An hour later, he rumbles one more chapter for the third time, lazily flexing his claws. Aw, tigers that are into romantic literature. Okay. I guess that's something that we would help with the Clatery Air. I don't know. It feels like it might be bad, you know? The, ti the lady insists that she belongs in the jungle. The tigers disagree. There are questions about where her pelts came from and how the former owners died. Oh, God. The Clatery Air offers her a consultation. Afterward, the patient has a curious crescent scar on her forehead, roughly the shape of a claw, but I can wear a hat. It's no matter. She buries the pelts with honors and buys a ticket for the next ship back to London. Oh. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I totally forgot about that. Okay, I'll look at that in a second. Okay, what do they need? A judgment's egg? Good lord. He dwells in a jungle ruin, an anachronism, a curiosity. His position is romantic, but titular. Or is it? Well, I don't know. Searing enigmas are... I think searing enigmas have pretty powerful things. So it's probably not a good idea to waste it here. Yeah, that's how you get them. Um, you can purchase them. It, it, it costs essentially 1665 echoes um, if you go to Arem because you buy extraordinary implications at 333 each. You get five of them and then you can trade those for a Searing Enigma. It is, however, the most expensive way. Um, you could also do three ambiguous Eliths and then trade them in the Chapel of Lights for an extraordinary implication. But it's time consuming because you need something awaits you. Yeah, there's no there's like no easy way except for the the expensive way. Um. Oh 
Oh no, some bad stuff happens. Um, okay. Yeah, so there's so it, there are ways to to, to use it. Um, done, done. It could be sold for a thousand to the alarm the scholar. You can need one for a dread surmise. Um, a hesperating apple. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of okay to spend it, I think. There's ways to get it. It will be annoying, but I kind of like... Mm. I mean, there's ways to do it. The, some of them involve combat, which is uh, tough, but... Anyway. I mean, it's easier to find than a judgment's egg, I think. So, uh... I guess? Sure, I'm sure that I'll, I'll regret it later. Burning bright. The prince lounges in the arch of a high, glassless window. Kneeling, you recount the tale of how his forebears earned their title. His ears prick as you speak of a war behind mirrors. His eyes open when you mention the satraps from across a smoking sea. He growls as you describe a battle against a legion of heart-takers and tiger blood blackening a pebbled beach. You recite his full and original title, the Prince of the Smoking Shore and Duke of all the Isles, Archipelagos, and Peninsulae that were once the sovereignty of the humbled satraps. How the truth burns in him. His eyes blaze. Embers spark in his fur. You helpfully beat them out. It will be useful having royalty in your debt. Okay. I don't know how one uses it. Hold on. I'm going to do a manual save after stupidity. I don't know if it will give me choices. I would hope. Yeah, okay. So each one requires... Okay. <laughs> there are other empires. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like these are particularly useful to me. <coughs> it's sort of like a supremacy stuff. And I don't know uh, how often that will be. Okay, so still another book. Got to decide who, from whom to get my port report. I don't know if it matters. Um, because you have three choices. I figured it was flavor, but I don't know. Okay, so let's find the avuncular broker's snuffer, shall we? The docks throng, the streets bustle, the blue bazaar heaves, thousands upon thousands of faces. The snuffer could be hiding, hiding behind any one of them. How will you find it? <coughs> oh, well. I mean, I guess, sure, why not use that? You issue coded instructions to your agents. Within the day, the snuffer is identified, isolated, subdued with the gift of a carefully poisoned hat steeped in paralytic jelly jellyfish extracts, placed in a coffin, carried to your ship, and chained in the hold before the poison wears off. A diet of meter-salted candles keeps it quiet for the return journey. It had been masquerading as an aide at the governor's mansion. Undoubtedly, questions will be asked regarding his disappearance, but you'll be long gone by then. Wow. <coughs> so we've got to return it to Adam's way. We aim to head there next, I believe. So, uh, 
That should be okay. Uh, let's see. Prices for supplies. 18 are here, so I should I should get my supplies here. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's choose one. All that. Oh, the gardener's aid was left hand on Tuesday and right hand on Wednesday. That's okay. So was that like a hint on the snuffer? He got impersonated. Okay, I wondered about that. Okay, I don't really need intelligence right now. I have plenty. I have a lot of terror. I mean, that's better than London, which is 20 for, for the loss of a single point. It's annoying, but... <sighs> okay, so... The only thing I can do is pan for... Sapphires... So I think that's us optimized for iron. Yeah. Okay. So now it's yeah, now it's merely 55% chance of success. Merely a a 45% chance of failure. So I saved. Okay. <laughs> I do love that. There's a ambush is a strong word, but there is a tiger st sitting on a broad mushroom cap asking unflattering questions about your nutritional value. That's just fun. What a goofy world this is sometimes. Oh wow, this is going poorly. Okay, braving the jungle's violet spore drifts, you spot a narrow. Uh, you find a narrow stream. You kneel among the red-capped agarics that spot its banks. It doesn't heave with sapphires as the stories promise, but an afternoon's panning yields a pocket full of glittering shards. Oh wow, that's pretty worthless. It might have been worth more to do the the tale of terror instead. Wow, that's embarrassing, on my part. Okay, well, that's how it'd be. That's one of the cheapest places. Yeah, there's Iron Republic for 15, and a Prosperous Rack for uh, 15. So this isn't a this isn't a shabby place. I had a thought. What if? But I don't have a, a mirror catch box. Yeah, no. Uh, I was like, for a second, I was like, I could go up to the surface. I could, I could go back to the surface and, and go hog wild. But no, I cannot. I would have to prepare a little better. And if I make rack, if I make rack pr 
prosperous that I could go there, refuel uh, and supply up, and then just hop over to the Combined Canal. It's not the fastest route necessarily, but it would probably be cheaper than fueling in London. Okay, so I think that's everything. I can also buy this stuff. If I go to Adam's Heart, Adam's Way, sorry, I can purchase candle, candles for cheaper. I can purchase coffee for the same amount as here. So, do I have recent news? Yes, I do. So I can go. Thank goodness. But I could probably just... Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep the money for now. I'll I'll grab the coffee there, and then we'll head back up to uh, Fallen London. Okay. So hopefully we will be okay. It is a long way. This would be a perfect place. Oh. <laughs> now they notice me. Ooh, just avoided a, a current. Nice. This would be the perfect place to find a uh, undersea city. Or zitty. Oh god, what? 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 I didn't see anything. Was that it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was. God, that was scary. I wonder if those rocks are just there for you to bump into. Why did that work better than anything I've ever done? Going into the current. The air is stale. Yeah. We're under half, but I guess there isn't anything. There's whatever that is the end of a current. I don't know if it slows me down or what. Okay. Alright, well. Oh! Well, that's... That. Carmine tint, because it's blood. Blood of the mountain bleeding out forever. Whew, okay. Safe, but for how much longer? Okay. Manual save, ash of stupidity. Okay. First off, I want to see in my hold. I'm so glad that this exists. I wonder if that's why they didn't uh, stop it from happening. But it's just so unfun to not have the ability to use, uh, sorry, not this, uh, like the Memento Mori and stuff like that. Okay, I'm curious if it, ha if it says, if he's in here, the snuffer.
doesn't look like he shows up. Okay. I thought he might. I just wanted to read the, the description. If there was anything. Alright. So that's how we're going to get in with our recent news. So I can do that. I can do that. No more than four. No more than four. Okay, so it looks like I can do both. I'm going to do this one first because, to be honest, I'm a little more interested in that than I am in the boat. Uh, sad, yeah, just like sad to say, but the I don't think the boat is as interesting as the one I already have. It has some stat buffs that are nice, but it's you know it was it was a deal it was a like a Kickstarter backer stuff so you know it's not, it can't be anything game breaking. All right, you have contained the creature in a barrel. You order it rolled to the broker's door. It would be very sad if the broker is like a face snuffer or something, but... Excellent. Roll it on in, my friend. I owe you another lunch, I think. But first, your payment. He hands you a large cream envelope. Inside is a chart. It's folded stiff with Z-salt. The corner is stamped with the seal of the Empress herself. It is labeled First Voyage of the Galatea, 1867. It shows a tenuous roving course across the Untersee. As you leave, the avuncular broker is keen to keep in touch. Perhaps I will have another commission for you after a conversation with our mutual friend. He pats the top of the barrel. The thing inside kicks. Revelatory chart. Oh ho. The Galatea is the ship that was uh, manned by one of Victoria's sons. The Galatea Incident. I don't know much about it, but... Yeah. Well, that's cool. I mean, I can give it to the Dark Spectacle, the Admiral. I don't know what else it can be used for. I assume... All sorts of stuff. I love the item description. It's just, oh ho! Okay, so you can get it, of course, a couple of other ways. Um, oh, it doesn't have any uses besides uh, the Admiral. Interesting. I didn't expect that. Hmm. Okay, so anyway. So we've done that. Uh, sure. This time he meets you in a private room. A lady in a neat button suit sits beside him, flicking through an English phrase book. She seems quietly pleased. Sit, sit, the broker urges. His avuncularity is diminished. Uh-oh. The snuffer you caught was extremely surprised by his interrogation. He was under the impression that it was working for us. One of our London diplomats has decided that the expedience of using snuffers outweighs the prohibition on associating with them. He is incorrect. He, he introduces his associate, a hands-on diplomat. I'd like you to see her safely to the Presbyterate Embassy in London. She will explain her colleague's error to him and replace him in his position. Thereupon, she will pay you. The payment is generous. It covers your discretion as well as your service. Okay. Sounds good to me. I was going to be like, what, Zoop is involved? Well, I, remember, I think we did all the stuff that we could do there. So, all right. The Claytory Heart? Yeah, it was here. Our previous owner zailed it as far up the river as it would go, and then submerged it and covered its resting place in reeds. There, its ichor bled into the water. 
The river fish began to throw themselves on shore and hobble about on their fins. At first, the local fishermen welcomed an easy harvest, but in time they came to dislike the disruption and the permanent rotting smell. Then, uh, but how the heart departed and where it went are another story. The quadri air listens without looking, her gaze fixed on the flowering of the tree. Okay. <laughs> so you have to waste two? Well... I mean, we might as well do that, but it's sort of it's interesting. It takes too much time. All right. If it's no longer in the river, where did it go? Hacked free. The people who lived on the banks of Adam's Way brought the Clatery Heart to the surface and made it fit to Zale again. But there was no one who wanted to voyage in her, so they chose a crew by lot and chained them to the deck, ordering them to Zale north until they had left the Elder Continent and then to keep sailing as far as they could go. The Clatery Air is still looking into the middle distance, but the corners of her mouth have turned down. The storyteller is milking the story, and she knows it. Oh, fudge. Oh, that's annoying. And I sold my Mount Palmerston port report. I didn't expect it to be that. So I, so I bet... I bet that takes, like, a whole four. Like, you have to waste a whole visit on that. Oh, that's bullshit. That's stupid. I disapprove. Oh, I didn't see you could do that. Huh. Well, maybe next time we go there. Alright, so let's see. We're here. Uh, Varchus is another place I want to go, but it's just so hard to go to these places, you know? I still don't know where Hideaway is, and it's kind of annoying to just have that thing right there. Sitting atop all my choices. Have you delivered the Hideaway letter yet? No, I haven't. Get off my back. I'll cry. Uh, okay. Where should I go? I don't really want to go any of these places. <laughs> That's sad to say. But it's kind of true. I don't... I kind of want to... If I could just teleport back home, that'd be awesome. <sighs> okay. Because the next stuff I want to do, I need to go up here. Um, need to go here. I need to kill a Lorne Fluke so I can finish up this. Because I have the heart metal, but not the Lorne Fluke. Doesn't it say in the wiki where they... <laughs> There's a Lornist fluke, apparently. I haven't looked at that. But, um... Where can you find them? Excuse me. I think every... game is a bit different. Is a, is a bit different where they, they go. The Fathom King's Hold, the Chelinate, Empire Hands, Icedable. Okay, so they're all far, far east. I don't think I have that much. Yeah, I don't have that much fuel. Yeah, so it's like here, 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 here. So, so the... The Lorne Flukes can be anywhere in this area. <sighs> I don't know where Hideaway is. It's a shame. <sighs> 
All right. Well, there's no easy way of knowing where it is, I don't think. I could try one last attempt. Okay. <laughs> I don't see hideaway on this map. Oh wow, I I legitimately don't see it. Okay, well, that's a uh, rough. Huh. Well, okay, so I could go. Let's see. I have so little occasion to go this direction. If I go... Try going here. Get some supplies here. Go north. Maybe see a Lorne Flute question mark. Hit the Chelinate so I can do the Poissonnier, because I think I have enough hunting trophies now. Maybe check in on the Gant Pole. God. Maybe some Stygian Ivory. Dahut to refuel. Rack. See how it is. Fall in London. And then after that, my next one will be up here. Because Ad Horizon, Port Cecil. Maybe. I don't know. It's a, it's a long journey. A very long journey. Alternatively, I could just buy as, as much coffee as I can and just go straight back to London. Sell it. That's just not very adventuring. That's probably a mistake. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to go straight up to... Yeah, I'm going to go straight up to Fathom King's Hold and then try cutting Northeast Empire of Hands. Because I want to clear up more of the map if I can. Oh god. It's submerged. Ooh. That really is a powerful weapon. I 
I don't know why it won't let me. No more than zero. So I guess because I've already... So I've done two, so I have to go back, I guess. Or technically three, because there was a previous one. Alright, so Beha Mustache, I need to look up which is the best to do. Because it's too hard to kill these. I'm not going to just be like, oh, I hope harvesting his flesh is the right thing to do. Okay, so... If I harvest a flesh, I either get hunting trophies. Okay, so I can get a little bit of the stuff. If I dig around in his innards, I get nothing valuable. Okay. So, we have that, so we have six. Huh. Isn't that one of the things the venture wanted? It's tempting to be like, oh, I just need one more. So if I if I defeat another couple of monsters, I would be able to com accomplish the the venturer's task, I think. Because wasn't it strange catch or hunting trophy? What? I didn't get a choice. Was like my terror too high or something? That was weird. Gotta keep boating through the dark. Ooh, some light. Uh oh. Something's under the water. And it's approaching me. No? <gasps> oh my god. Full far back. You need to go way faster, my friend. Holy shit. So this is how I'm gonna die. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but it was bad. What's happening? Oh, God. Everything's flickering. What? Is it running away? My God. I'm so terrified. <laughs> no! I had you! Why is it confused? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. 
the del <laughs> the deliquesces <laughs> the deliquescing body is full of incomprehensible organs that collapse at your touch. You understand nothing, and very quickly there is little left of it. But at its center, you find a vast lump of resin or congealed gall, the size of a barrel, flawed with darkness. In the false starlight, it is a deep violet purple. Irigo, your doctor whispers, the color of forgetfulness. Oh wow, that. I'm so glad I have the skull, because the skull is so much cheaper to get. Oh, wow. Well, so that happened. Uh, I don't think I have enough fuel to continue my original intention. Oh god. I'm so scared of uh like The problem is I'm surrounded by places that I don't think even sell fuel. The closest place might be Adam's Way. Oy. Cause I don't wanna I don't want to lose out on this. Let's go to Fathom King. Hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, I have nine. I have nine. That's not the worst. Okay. So here we are. We get that. Uh, sure. I can't talk to the Fathom King. Oh no. Well, manual save after stupidity two. Okay. Um, So I can go north. Yeah, so I guess my best thing is to go Nuncio, Polythreme, Dahut. I might save at Nuncio. I think more places should have fuel. I don't know. So, no more using full steam ahead, because that wastes fuel. Hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, it is eight fuel. It's not nothing. Worst thing in the world is when you have terror lights as you're right next to a light circle. Because it's it feels very unfair. It's like you you aimed to go through the circle of light, but you still have the terror radius? That sucks. That means it was a waste of your time. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Well, sinking is probably a bad idea. Hopefully, they're stuck in the vortex so they won't attack. 
Okay. Goodness gracious me. Oi, six fuel. I don't know if that's enough. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. That was my hope. I can at least I can buy it for a bad price, but I can still I can at least buy it, you know. Um I guess If I do that, I'm not going to be able to afford fuel. So, like, no. <laughs> 20 drowning pearls. Yep. Goodness, I almost spent the money on that thing, and then I would have been able to have one fuel. Manual save. After stupidity. Whew. Okay. Hopefully with this amount... see that being a problem, those rat boats. Okay, so I'm going to head up to Polythrene. And then around to Dahut. those glow? Are those like treasures or are they harm? Like I don't want to hurt myself. Like just straight up. Like just everything <laughs> everything down here hurts you. Like it's not fun to explore. Here it is. I don't know. I guess that's just a me problem. Like, other people are like, I love... Also, like, I like, you know, the ports that have cheap stuff. I like that portion of it. Um, I guess I can do that. around the corner, we'll dive. the entrance. Here we are. <gasps> no! I have to negotiate. No!
No. Okay, so. I cannot imagine playing this game as a roguelike. I just cannot imagine it. Because just like at any moment, just something happened, and just like, well, um, now every story in the world is going to reset. You're going to go back down to nothing. It's just basically losing just a, a massive amount of progress, and I just don't... I, I barely tolerate that from real roguelikes. Rarely. And I certainly don't take it from something like this that's mostly narrative. supplies over there over there it was all lit up okay so I don't know if there's any new news yeah no report report I lost all my clarity that's rough So that should get me to London. It's a shame I don't have enough to get to Port Cecil. Oh. Well, I've saved, so if this isn't enough, then I'll remember to sell parabola linen. Okay. So, it's just up there, it's so close. I mean, it's, yeah, that, like that's, it's just the most hateful thing, it's just like, you know, I, but I can't do it, I just can't. can't afford to make it over then make my way back. I have to go leftwards. And I'm all set to finish if I as far as I recall, I'm I'm set to finish Port Cecil, the the principle of a uh, coral. components not useful to me a wreck okay a sealed container something peers up at you from the bottom of the crate it rises up on its fronds its mouth orifice a quiver your doctor removes it from the mox it wriggles and spouts ink dark water in their face before being bundled into a sack wow amazing I love it. I, I wish it could be a friend that we could keep. Well, I went in this direction and shouldn't have, probably. Oh well. God, there's a lot down here today. Always sets you a little further back. I wonder if it's exactly when I press the button. Ho ho. 
Um, I really want to sh to show you what I got. Screw you. <sighs> All right. Respect. We've done all this before. Wait, have we talked this before? With business deals dealt with, is it is just like every time it's better? With business dealt with, the pirate poet joins you and a few select members of the senior crew for a late supper. She treats the assembled audience to baptism of glass about her first days at Z after years of servitude. By the man, she follows it with shorter works and reforged a cry for broken change, uh, chains. In Polythreme, we are given our words. We are not allowed to hope they will be kind. In London, I learned to write my own, and in that moment I was free. One day, others of my homeland will read them, and they too will learn. One day, my king's dreams must end. Dinner follows, hot wine and cold spiced meats. Sailors openly place bets on whether she actually eats. The pirate poet ignores them. Her stoke facade doesn't even quiver until dessert is served. At that, just for a moment, even she cannot hide a slight smile. Sorbet, Captain? she asks, eye ridge raised. Don't make me tell folk you're even softer than they say. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So hopefully I have not doomed myself by having fun with the pirate poet. My hope is, if worse comes to worse, I can use some supplies. Okay. No. I don't know why you would re-explore the Shattered Citadel. I wonder if there's a reason. Okay, I'm on two, after Stupidity 2. I'm just gonna go... I mean, act like, actually, if I go to Demo Island, like, that's kind of the correct course anyway. Because uh, the entrance to Fallen London is a little south of my direct latitude. Now that I can defeat the pirate poet, I feel a little better. I, I wonder if there's a progression. I genuinely don't know. I'm guessing... I would have seen if she can be an officer. So I don't think that happens. As much as I would like it to be. Now that I'm better at defeating her. But you know, it's not like you know, it's not like I've gotten better at combat, it's just I have stronger weapons and a stronger ship. Are you kidding me? You better not. I mean I could destroy you. You understand that, right? Okay. T with the factor. One supply. Port report. Uh Sure. Okay. All right. Nervous. Okay. It's probably for the best not to fight it because I'll lose fuel, and unless it gives me fuel, um, that'd be bad. It's only got 30 HP, which makes me think that it's under-leveled for me, so I'll be okay. Hey, 
Hey, the light should have turned off my terror lights. That's not fair. Every time I have an opportunity to lower my terror, the game should take it. Ridiculous. save after stupidity. Now I feel better. Now I know I can make it to London. Okay, that's good to know. So like four, so this is four. I have four fuel. How long does it take to get from the salt lions to fall in London? stuff as it is, and I just realized I don't have my fuel-saving engineer. Okay. So that's four. So it took one, two, and uh, roughly a half. So it takes two and a half to get to salt lines. 2.5. Now, I didn't have my fuel efficiency guy on, but that's okay because I'd prefer to make my assumptions with a bit of, uh, what's the word? A bit of leeway. I should be fine. I don't have anything. Okay, a breath of relief. Okay, so I still only have two. That's nice. And it lowered down to 50. Ooh, Lauren Scholar. Oh god, the blind bruiser. <sighs> the problem is I want to go north and it's going to be like go to the Carnelian Coast. I don't know. This hasn't been very useful. I feel. It's getting kind of old. And I'm not getting any of the fun adventures, but... I don't know. Guiders mourn, of course. I'm writing down a note, sorry. Skyders, Morn, Bruiser, whatever. Okay. Alright, so this has no other use except to give him this, so that's nice. It's nice to have an easy solution, just like, yes, I can sell this, you know? He scrutinizes the chart minutely through a lens. He doesn't, you notice, remove the dark spectacles. 
It passes muster, he remarks. The usual fee applies. <laughs> it passes muster. So that's 250. Okay. The Admiral doesn't open your report, he merely waves over an underling, she pays you and escorts you swiftly from the office. Uh, I might save the under... Because I can, I can use them in Barnett to continue the story in Barnett, so... I guess I should hold on to it, unless and until I find out that uh, you can't reuse port reports there. Okay, 248. I still have enough fuel. Uh, still enough hull, I think. Uh, lodgings. Oh, right, the Longwood Scholar wanted to talk to me. A little present. Two supplies. Very kind. Goodness. Strayed component of a strayed star. Hmm. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to save. Manual save. Overhill, because we made it back safely. And thank goodness. Whew. Oh, right, deliver the claim in. Alright, so that's 120. Decide whether to complete the avuncular broker's mission. Well, why, why wouldn't I? The hands on diplomat slides bullets into her pistol. Time to go, she says, slipping it into her satchel. She shares the name of the man she is to replace and shows you his picture. A dapper chap, dark-eyed, dark-skinned, smiling. Oh, the Presbyterian Embassy is hidden in London's sewers. Why does he deserve a fighting chance? I mean, why? Like face snuffers, they steal people's identities. Like, literally, and you don't hear about where those people go afterwards. Uh, escort safe to the embassy. Its location might be foul, but the embassy's door is good mahogany and the knocker has been polished to a fierce gleam. The hands-on diplomat stops outside. Thank you for your help. The next task is mine. She hands you a shard of something bright and burning. A sacred price for enforcing a sacred prohibition. She draws her gun and knocks on the door. You make your way back to your ship. Oh. -ho. <laughs> I guess I can't go down there. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I can definitely do that. Um. Always good. Boy, you, you need a real physician. None of your surgeons. Wow. That's mean. Okay. Hearts and iron. I mean, 50 echoes, and we can start working on her stuff. My only concern is... 
she is on a timer. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Welcome aboard. Hmm, don't you have anywhere cleaner? Well, if I must do it myself, where can I find a mop? <laughs> okay. I'm so close to fulfilling his desires. I just need two and, uh, let's see, minus three uh, or four. So I need either two strange catches or four hunting trophies, not counting the ones I need for uh, the Poissonnier. Okay. So I gotta save, manual save, overhill. I'm curious about what happens if you warn the the dude at the embassy. Can I spell presbyterate correctly? Just looking. Oh. Okay. Uh, the dapper chap might be your sweetheart. That's why you might choose to to warn him. Okay. Fascinating. Well, anyway. That's very interesting. Alright, so I think I'm going to stop here will save so I want to check out so I'm uh, it's frustrating the blind bruiser is so I I might do research next time and just see like what what value is there because there's like story stuff that can happen but I've just been doing the same thing over and over. It's been like what four times now, five. I've just, I've just this soul nonsense, and it's a, and it's not fun. Uh, I don't know. Like it's, it, it can be a fun challenge if you're going in that direction, but increasingly, like I don't, I don't want to have to risk my life, not to go to a place just because I want to go up. Because I have business, I have business low Barnet. I have a, a port report to sell. I have a year ago to donate in vendor bite. Um, Avid Horizon. Um, that's important. Uh, Zoop. I need Zoop for something, so that would be Mount. Yeah, that would be to recruit the fierce philanthropist. Um, if somehow I manage to have under 20 terror, that's, uh, where I would do that. So, like, that, well, like, it'd be kind of nice to do this down to Port Cecil, where a lot of important stuff is happening. probably down to, to I guess that's the thing it would just have to be all the way like a vast circle so I go like all the way through and then back or I'd go the opposite way and maybe that would be more interesting I don't know or like if I if I go here and rack is prospering now with this last bout of uh, ships 
because then it has the best then it's the best supply depot in the game so then there's no problem to you know it can just go fill up guiders mourn it's just it's it's a long way so I was just like even if I don't do that I want to go in I mean that's the problem I want to go in directly the opposite way than the blind bruiser wants me to yeah like maybe like I don't have a lot of stuff but maybe that's what I do I go ne like next time I go have an adventure in the Empire of Hands uh, the north refuel at Dahut and then probably just I have to make my way back and then the stuff northwards is going to have to wait and I'm going to have to continue risking that strategic information uh, spoilers I need the strategic information up here with the navigator so I guess I, I mean the the doctor has been a good little boy so far uh, in recent years so as so, I don't know if maybe so long as I don't have dinner with him he remains useful so I think this will do next time. And so, like, with the occupation of Mutton Island, I think there's no longer a reason to go there. Because a port report... Well, uh, I mean, unless we're doing the Zong of the Z, which is something we'll... When I next have a thousand to spend, because I, like, I have the best weapon in the game, I'm not going to be purchasing any more engines. So, sooner or later, I'm going to have the, the compressor and the hidden compartment and I'm going to, you know, I, if I, next time I have a thousand echoes to spend, I think I'm just going to do the townhouse. Just just for new content and to be able to see what else I can make. Because I don't remember, and it, it may feel like it, but I don't actually, I'm not constantly reading the entire wiki to see every last thing. It's just like rare moments where it's like the difference between getting something of value and wasting a massive amount of effort so yeah so yeah so i think next time we're gonna have a little we're gonna have a proper little expedition i, I think i'm gonna have to sell more stuff i think i don't have very much money um but i think we're gonna go oh sorry to finish the thought like song of the z uh, port, if I recall correctly, it requires like a port report for every place in the game. Um, I don't know if that now includes the underwater DLC stuff, but but I believe you need a port report of every place. So that means that you have to, because you can't do that in one trip, which means that you're you're hopefully making money in a in a different way than uh, port reports because you're not gonna be able to do that until you have one of every place and can make it into the zong of the z huh. in any case yeah next time rack guide is mourn i guess nuncio and then empire of hands chelinate gant pole and then maybe <coughs> I mean the problem is I know I'm going to I'm going to need to refuel. So I, I cuz like it'd be nice to be able to just avoid all of that but I need that hood pretty much. But then Port Cecil. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. I don't know. I wish I wish that hadn't happened. I could I could have done you know, I could have done that. Oh well. I mean maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just I'm just gonna go Well, but no, I have to go down here. Oh god, I'm just talking, aren't I? Alright, we'll see you next time. I hope you have a good rest of your eve. Farewell. <laughs>